Morning. Well, there's a lot of rain in London and South East. Uh, yes, it's set for the day, I think. We do need the rain. Uh, so, talking of rain, go to the Lake District again. The water, I've just done this sketch from a photo, internet photo. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to change it around, I'm going to change the season of it and the sky. Just a very rough impression of it really, just to show you how my, my approach again as to how I do things. But having said that, I seem to do a different method each day. So this is the thing when you're painting, you're trying to be creative. You find so many other ways and you're still learning. You, you never ever be as good as you want to be. We just try. So I'm going to wet the paper all over. It's Fabriano, £130. Let's give it a wet with clean water. The one I did yesterday of Grasmere, I wish I had uh, paid more attention to the colour of the water. It seemed, as you know, water colour dries much lighter than you put it on. And it almost vanished and left the white surface instead of reflecting the overhead sky. This area here will reflect what's above when you're looking down, it will reflect up so the sky will be heavier, more concentrated in colour above your head. And as you go to the horizon, looking through lots of atmosphere, it tends to get less distinct. So I'll, I'll warm up with a bit of raw sienna. Okay, so we'll do a cloudy day. So a bit of uh, ultramarine, a bit of Payne's Grey. It's still damp from uh, yesterday, a bit of alizarin. Now I'm using lemon yellow, raw, uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, Payne's, uh, light red, ultramarine, burnt time with Payne's Grey, burnt sienna if I need it. But I'm trying to wean myself off by, or off the burnt sienna by using more Burnt umber with a bit of light red, but really the burnt sienna is a lovely, beautiful colour. So let's just do some. Coming over the cliffs here. Now I'm going to put this dart in, in the water here. Right, let's get that right over here. Okay, so we'll, I'll, I'll deepen that a bit with some more of the same colours, just to give some some lowering clouds here. I'm tempted to use a bit of a tissue on that. But um, I, mm, I, it's not my my way. But that'll do. We'll just get a bit more blue in that overhead, I think. Because a bit of a stormy, busy sky here. But lots of movement in the sky. It's really stormy. So what light there is, I can put in this uh, hill over here. Okay, let's put in some background, same colours. That would be my my distance. I want to keep a bit of light there to show the lake going on further. And then we'll have a bit darker in there. Well, that's not really dark, is it? Mm. 
Right, I'll uh, put in some burnt seed, burnt umber now. Burnt umber and some burnt, some raw sienna, a bit of light red, just to get a bit of a contrast in here. And put some darker bit. Now, if you want to paint dark or paint colour over a wet colour, use a thicker, thicker paint, almost tube consistency. Okay, let's get a real good dark on the top of that now. Oh, it's so dingy. I, I, I resist putting on lights because it casts a shadow. Oh, we'll put a bit of uh, yellow in there. You need a lot of cloth or a decent cloth to take off some of the moisture from your brush, the wet water. Right, okay, that'll do. That gives an impression that there's something going on. I can, I can doctor that later. I'm going to lift out some of that. That's gone a little bit, bit wrong. Right, uh, now, what's a good shadow area on the top of those mountains on the right? The cloud shadows and a bit of yellow in there, a bit of green. Just blend that bit there. This is the the lower slope, the the, the grass. And get some some buildings over there. Right, spend enough time on that. Um, let's bring the, uh, the greenery down. Now while that's wet, I'm going to just lift out some little bits of white on there uh, where I can see them. I'll just reclip the paper so it's flat. Now I want to get that a bit darker in there before I put that on, but I'm just going to do this, this here. Just a, just a little. 
a lot of buildings. No rocks, just Just little bits of buildings. But so disturbed that they just show us little white dots. But as long as they show in the in the painting, then you can use your imagination to fill in the gaps. Didn't see any rocks there. Right, while that's doing, I'm just going to put that sky in here so as a dry brush. Okay, so a bit more blue in that sky there, I mean that reflection here. I'm going to cover a lot of that up with a bit of a, a bit of foreground. Right, now while that's drying off there, I'm going to lift out a bit of that there that that went a little bit wrong, so I'll, I'll dampen a, one of these uh, nylon brushes here. Oops. Right, uh, while that's drying, I'm going to, uh, well, I'll give it a, give it a help. So I take your headphones off on this time, the uh, fire up, oops, sorry, fire up the machine. I think I can afford to just lift out a little bit of this. Just just take a little bit of this hardness out of there. Just a little bit of Do this a bit better left alone, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's uh, just take that bit out there. And I'll just put a little bit of yellow back, back in there, soften that. Why end up repainting this? Mm. 
Well, I don't think that's something I've ruined, have not I? Right, well, I'll, I'll proceed. It's better to stick with what you know. A uh, bit of red. Bit of burnt umber. Sienna. Bit of greenery. There's some rocks I'm going to put in here. Put some darks in here. Right, these are grasses coming. Creative scraping. some rocks in here, um, some green, get some dark in there. Right, I'll put some darks in there now. Good dark. I want some good shadows in here behind these rocks. And I can put my scrapings back. Dark autumn colours in it. Before I then even attempt to think about going back to try to salvage some of that. This dark here is, is light red, burnt umber and Payne's grey and it's really a rich warm dark. It's not black. It's a lot of colour in. Oh Harry the cat is uh, much better. We took him to the vet on Monday. You might be cat, some of you might be cat, I suspect. 
But uh, it's upset tummy is uh, much better. He's eating for England. There's supposed to be all some leaves here, but in silhouette. And I want some of that good dark colour here. So that I can etch into it. Right, here we go. These uh, go a long way really, these scraping out for grass. I'm going to dry that and go back back with uh, just a bit of uh, the blue colour. So I'll take your headphones off. I'm going to re-wet it. Okay, that looks a bit better. Now, I want some... ...texture on here. And a bit more over the top bit. Bit of yellow in there, field. Oh, just a grassy slope, really. Look how lovely and rich the paint is now. Let's put some trees on there. Right, now we've got some more islands in here. Sort of a greeny, warmy greeny. Foliage on the top of these here. Yeah. Right, I can't do much more than that, I don't think. So, I could put a bird or two in, I think. Not a great deal of detail. All the detail really is there. And in these... Um, I think I struggled a bit with this, don't you? There's just some grass, it's just... If this was a, I don't think it's an acrylic, I could make uh, much more of these grasses. 
I could also use a bit of grass. But that'll do, let's sign it. Put a bird in. Right, I'll put that in a mount and we'll have a look to see what we've done. We're quite quite ambitious this one. That's got a little bit muddy now. I'm going to let that go. Mount. So that's uh, Derwent water from a photograph. Oh, there we are. Let's zoom in. So we'll have a look at this, this little struggle bit there. It's cloud shadow, but with the cloud breaking over. With um, but I don't really like lifting out with a tissue. That's the lake going on beyond the middle distance and we'll come down to the grassy rocky foreshore and these autumn colours almost against the light really and then my rocks I love doing rocks if you don't get them right first time you just paint over them again Scrape, scrape it, just loosen up the paint. All right, let's come out and show you that before I go and have another cup of tea. Okay, well, thanks for persevering with this one. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.